Hello everyone, welcome back to the episode 2 of our .NET Core tutorial series. So for this episode, um, mag-a-add tayo ng controllers and views para sa application natin. So kung na-close nyo na yung solution natin, um, you can just go ahead and open the um, solution file. So navigate back to your um, solution folder and open the file. So, let's give it a couple of seconds for it to load the project. So, first is um, we have to modify or we have to create a new folder for our um, project or our solution. So, right click natin sa project natin. Click on add and click on folder and let's call it at as views and sub views right click new add and click on razor component and let's try to add a view start so razor view start wag nyo na baguhin yung name click on add next right click again sub views add another folder let's call it shared and on shared add right click on it add razor component and let's add a layout so razor layout so don't change the name click on add so let's discuss kung ano ba tong mga in-add natin so first is in view start so sa view start Ang purpose nito is usually um, ito yung unang code na magraran bago mag-execute yung mga um, views mo or yung mga razor pages mo. So, based dito sa code na to, siniset niya yung layout ng view mo or ng views mo the, uh, to layout. So, to underscore layout. So, inotice na nag-create tayo ng bagong folder called shared and created a new layout page razor layout so ito yung ginagamit niyang layout yung layout na create natin so purpose nito is para din na tayo mag uh, para natin para hindi na natin paulit-ulit ito type tong um, code na to since um, mostly um, pare-pares lang naman yung layout na gagamitin next let's try to create on views create another folder call it home and let's create another one uh, on the uh, sorry on home right click click on add click on view so razor view double click nyo yun. and let's call it index so um, click on razor view empty then index is HTML add and automatically um, buray nyo na lang itong laman so let's um, um, use an html tag called h1 this for like headings so this is my index page okay so next now meron na tayong view we can now add a controller so add tayo na folder let's call it controllers and sa controllers right click nyo add tayo na controller or you can just use class but i think uh, let's use class since ganun din naman gagawin natin explain ko lang kung bakit uh, mas prefer ko yung class or para lang mas madali nyo maintindihan so let's call it home controller and click on add next let's try to inherit the controller class and this time magbibigay ito ng error sa so, baba napapansin nyo the type namespace controller could not be found so in order to fix that um, you can click itong um, bulb so itong bumbol yung dilaw click nyo yung arrow beside that 
click on using Microsoft ASP.NET Core MBC. Or if you want, may shortcut naman. Uh, click nyo yung error. Kung saan kayo may error. Click on, hold down control and press that or that, that um, key. And same lang yung ipapakita niya. So, click on using Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC. So, what happened is, hindi kasi ma-recognize yung controller na class. So, kailangan natin i-import yung namespace na to. Next is, let's create an index action here. And let's return view. So, basically, what happened here is, remember, um, when we run our application, meron tayong uh, like localhost. Then, meron tayong port number, I think. I forgot the port, port number, I think. That's, if we go back here. Let's use this one or 44357. That's for the meantime yan. And for this, pwede ito yung link ng index or pwede ring home index. Sorry, slash index. So ito yung routing netong home index or home controller with the index action. And let's try to create another one. Let's call it post. Since this is, uh, we will be, we will try to create a blog system where you, uh, pwede tayo mag-post, pwede tayo mag-lagay ng kung ano anong, um, information na gusto natin ilagay. So, let's create a page called post. So, ang route niya, or para mapunta ka sa post, is like this. So, first, yung unang, um, yung unang uh, word is for the home or for the controller. So, since it uses home, it will try um, susubukan hanapin yung home controller. Next is yung post or let's say yung index. Um, Check naman ngayon yung application natin kung may existing bang um, action na nagkakorespond dun sa um, binigay nating um, route. So, let's say, ito yung pinis mong URL. So, hanapin niya muna yung kung may existing home controller. Next, kung meron, check niya kung meron bang index na route. So, kung i-check niya, meron tayong index, meron din tayong post. Next, um, since we created a view for our post, ay, a uh, controller for our post or an action, and wala pa tayo sa view, mag -e error yan. So, create mo na add natin yun. So, right-click nyo yung home, add, view. So, empty na lang. Let's call it post. And, h1 is, is my post page. And, anyway, ang mangya, since nakita niya, um, um, nakita na yung route na yon or yung action na yon what will happen next is merong logic uh, sa loob ng action natin and yung logic sa atin so far sa ngayon is magre-return ng view so what will happen here is magahanap siya ng view na uh, pwedeng i-return for this um, action so ang mangyayari dyan is like this uh, magahanap siya ng folder like for the views Next is, since ang name niya is home controller, hanapin niya yung folder na home. And since existing yung home sa atin ngayon, ang hanapin niya next is yung pangalan ng action. So, yung pangalan ng action is index. So, ang i-return yung view is yung index, so, which is this one. Same sa post. Since nasa home controller, so home folder sa views, Next is pangalan ng action is post. So, yung post na view yung i-return. And before we run the application, 
um, go back tayo sa startup.cs. So far, kapag tira natin application, kung ano yung um, na-experience natin nung episode 1, same pa rin yung mga ayari. Kasi wala naman tayong binago sa pipeline. Pati, wala pa tayong nire-register na controller and view services. So, for that, um, comment out muna natin tong code na to. Itong await. Ah, sorry. Itong buong code na to. And this time, add tayo ng, I think that's map controller default. Yeah. So, purpose na ito is, um, yung routing na ginagawa natin kanina, um, this one. So, i um, yun yung kagamitin niya. This one. So, con um, ito yung routing strategy. So, first, like, first um, word na my experience, let's say, is home. Next is yung action. Let's say, um, meron kang inad na ID or anything after the um, action route. Um, ito yung, uh, basta ito yung uh, routing strategy. So, which was explained here. Next is, um, we need to register the services for the MVC. So, so services that have controllers with views. And try natin i run your application. So, give it a couple of seconds. Okay, there you go. Punta tayo sa home slash index. Will return as the index page. Punta tayo sa post. Punta tayo sa post page. So, uh, try natin mag-add ng basic navigation. So, let's go back sa layout. And this time, since nakakatamad mag-type ng URL, sa uh, browser uh, let's have a basic navigation here let's have uh, an a oh i think i am um, ay kulang tayo so sa views add tayo ng um add tayo ng razor component so right click yung views add razor component add tayo ng UM, view imports and what you know going your name click on add this time add tainan tag helpers add natin lahat and ano ba yung namespace na i think I'll just give me a minute add this one add tag helper and tag helpers so copy Please. Ayan. So, the purpose of view import is um, we're trying to um, import some namespace or directives or some maybe library na para magamit ng Razor pages or ng views natin. So, ano ba tong mga tag helper na to? Regularly, kung wala tayo ng um, tag helper na yan, um, pag pumunta ka tayo dito sa layout or any um, Razor page, ang pwede lang natin magamit dito usually is yung mga HTML tags or any HTML or CSS tag na pwede mong um, gamitin. But this time, since meron tayong ni-register na tag helper, we can now use ASP dash uh, controller. So, let's say home. Let's say action and index so meron tayong mga additional tag helper or um, like shortcuts para magamit 
So, still same controller. And yung action na execute nun is yung post. So, yung tinagtag natin code is for navigation. So, pag this one, uh, meron siyang um, label na index. So, pag clinic yung index, automa automatically um, execute niya yung home controller with the ASP or with the action index. So, execute niya tong page na to. Oh, sorry. Nag-error. And same lang din sa isa. Which home, then post. Just the same with this one. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And if we try to run the application, we should have a basic navigation here. So, click on post. Automatically, mapunta tayo sa post. Index, same. Pupunta tayo sa index page. So, I think that's it for adding views and controllers for our application. On the next episode, we will try to add a model on our app. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you like the um, lesson or the tutorial, hit subscribe and share the video. Thanks everyone. See you on the next episode.